film like 10 minutes ago because I have absolutely nothing to do today and I haven't filmed in a while, so I thought it'd be kind of fun. I was supposed to have two classes today, but they both got canceled this morning, so I got to sleep in. So now I have nothing to do. Um, I go to college now. Yeah. Last time I filmed, I was still living with my parents. I moved out with one of my friends. We went to elementary school together and high school. So like we've known each other forever. So like it's not a random person because that would be really weird and sketchy. Also, just a warning. We're still missing some like furniture and like decorations. So it's really echoey in here because they don't really have anything like on the walls and stuff to like minimize the echo. So I apologize for that. It's 11.30, so I'm gonna make breakfast because I'm freaking starving. I made some guacamole yesterday, like homemade guacamole. It was amazing. So I'm gonna make toast with the guacamole and I'm gonna put an egg on top. And I think I might make some bacon too because I'm feeling bacon right now. Also, if you fucking, if you see this, I just had my graduation ceremony. And so I got flowers from my, my parents and my aunt, but I don't have another vase in my apartment yet. So I use like a, ju like a juice jug. So it's kind of ugly, but the flowers are nice. So just like ignore that. Best juice ever. make the bacon first since it takes longer. Um, so that didn't go very well for some reason. The bacon literally was like stuck to the pan, like stuck to the pan. Like when I tried like flipping it or like whatever, it did not come off. So I'm like giving up on it. Look at this, that's gross. So we're gonna move on from that and make eggs. I'm gonna make the eggs and the toast and stuff and I'll just film me like putting it together. So I will see you in like five minutes. So my toast popped. This is like the best angle I could get. breakfast i'm gonna go watch some tv while i eat so i'll be back once i'm done and when i come back i'm gonna like get dressed and stuff and like get ready with me type of thing so i will see you later bye i'm back i ended up watching tv a little longer than expected but now i'm back i'm gonna brush my teeth do my skincare and my makeup the lighting is kind of weird because there's like a window behind me this is my little bathroom look at the shower head it's so cute it's like a waterfall and look at our curtain it's like peaches or something i don't even know what that is so i'm gonna start by brushing my teeth Now it's time for skincare. Last time you saw my skincare routine, it was like a two-step skincare routine. But I purchased some better skincare products. As you can see, it literally says Sky Cetaphil because me and my roommate have the same one. So I put my name on mine, not Cetaphil, CeraVe, CeraVe. But I finally have good, good products for my face, sort of. I wanna get one of those cute headbands that people use when they're like doing skincare and they like put it up, it does like this thing. I'm gonna get one soon, but for now, this is all I have. It doesn't work super great, but it kind of does the job. I'm keeping the ears covered because if I don't, it like literally falls off my head. So this is the look. First step in my skincare is the micellar water. Micellar, micellar. Not sure how to pronounce that word, but like cleansing water. You just get like a cotton pad and you just generously pour it on. My skin's been like breaking out recently. So like, I don't know what to do. I don't know if it's my because of my skincare routine or the way I've been eating, my sleep schedule, stress. I have no idea. Okay, step two. Why did it just get so bright? What the hell? 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so I moved you places because the lighting got a little intense. Third step in the skincare, I got a serum. It's a vitamin C super glow serum by Garnier. So I usually just put like five drops on my hand. One, two, three, four, five. So I just like take my finger. Why is the lighting getting so intense? So I just like put it on my finger and like wipe it on my face. I actually think I might add more. I know people say to like press it into their skin, but I saw an article or something or like a video and I was told that if you like go in circles like this, it actually like gets into like your pores and like actually absorbs better than if you just like dab it. I got the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer. I know you're supposed to wear sunscreen like every day. I don't do that because I'm afraid that I'll like break out because... I have like really oily skin already, so I feel like just adding SPF on top of that will ruin it. Probably not. I'm probably just being silly, but I don't know. I wanted to get the one with SPF in it, but like, I don't know how my skin would react to that. That's the thing with like trying like certain products like face serums and moisturizers is because my skin gets very oily very quickly. So trying new ones kind of scares me because some moisturizers make your face feel like not sticky, but like greasy you know what i mean this one doesn't though this one feels like water i don't know how to describe it but neutrogena hydro boost is the best moisturizer i've tried so far so that's it for my skincare so now i'm gonna do my makeup and then i'm gonna go pick an outfit because i'm supposed to go to my friend's apartment later soon actually because it's like two o'clock now so let's get into that i saw a tiktok once of this girl like doing her eyelashes and i've been copying her routine ever since so like brushing your eyebrows before curling them makes a little bit of a difference i find i need a new eyelash curler look at this it's like broken so it doesn't work too well anymore but it's still like ow ow the frick that was weird so Next, mascara. I need to get a new one, it's like empty, so I need to like scrape the sides. I can't see. I usually use the waterproof one, but when I went to the store to buy some, they didn't have any left. So I just got like the regular one instead. Something exciting, I might be getting contacts soon. I've literally had glasses since I was like two and a half. I'm used to them, so it's not so bad, but like sometimes I just don't want to wear them. I can see without them, obviously not as well, but like in public, like let's say I'm doing like an, a certain activity, I don't want to wear my glasses. Like when I go to the amusement park or something, like I don't want to wear my glasses because I have to take them off. Or just like in general, sometimes I feel prettier without them. Sometimes I feel prettier with them. So I think I'm going to get contacts, but I'm only going to wear them like half the time and then get new glasses and wear those the other half of the time. So now that I live all by myself in Montreal, I have my license now, I have my own apartment. So I feel like the content is gonna be better. I just need more like ideas besides like all nighters and stuff. Cause like, that's like obvious things that you guys want me to do, like going to try food or like places I've never been before. Or, like spend a day with me. Like, I could go thrifting or like literally I have the ability to do anything I want. Um, anyways. White eyeliner. I still have the same crusty blush, except that I have to open it upside down because the like plastic thing is broken. And the same thing happened to my highlighter. This blush is really pink, so I can't put a lot. I rarely ever put eyeshadow on, but just for fun, we're just gonna put a little bit. It's gonna be really bad, but it's okay. I don't even think that made a difference. Whatever. Next is my highlight palette. See, look, there's like, the glass is like missing. There's no more glass. <laughs> they fell out. We're gonna go do my hair now in my room and get dressed. Let's go. My room's kind of messy right now. Well, like, by messy, I mean my bed isn't made and there's like shit on the ground. So I chose an outfit. Let's change. 
I'm changed. This is the outfit, just like a crew neck with these corduroy pants. And I put like a black crop top underneath in case like I get hot and I want to take this off because that always happens. So let's do my hair now. I'm just gonna like put some earrings in to match like the gold and the brown. I just want to learn like cute little hairstyles, but I feel like when I try them, they don't look as good on me as they do like the people in the videos because I have very straight and flat thin hair as you can see so when i do those like certain hairstyles like it just looks weird because i don't have like volume but i kind of we can try to do like a half up half down thing today okay let's try i'm gonna curl these don't worry but like i feel like i should add something i'm gonna start by curling this and we'll see I got my hair cut uh, a couple weeks ago and like I got real curtain bangs this time but they already like grew quite a bit. I think this would be so cute if I curled all of my hair but that will take like really long and I don't really have time for that. Should I keep it like this? Let me look. Anyways, I'm just gonna leave my hair like this because I don't wanna mess anything up. So yeah. Boo. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I know I say this every time, but I'm gonna try my best to make more content and upload as much as possible, because it's fun and I wanna get into it again because I have no hobbies. So this will be my hobby. Again, feel free to leave like suggestions in the comments of like how to improve my videos or what you guys want to see more of. And I'll try my best to make that happen. So thank you so much. Love you. That was loud.